Dragon Ball Sparking Zero isn't even out yet, and it's already breaking all sorts of records. Let's talk about how important this is for the anime and gaming community, and what this could mean for the future. Yeah! Alright, what is up? This is Little Plays, and I am back in again with some groundbreaking Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news, okay? This is... This is big, right? This is big for not only Dragon Ball, but anime video games in general. Currently, right now, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is the number two top-selling game on Steam. Do you guys realize how absolutely insane that is? The only game that's beating it out is Throne and Liberty. I'm gonna be honest, I've never even heard of this game. What the hell is this, bro? Apparently, it's some type of like, what is it? An MMORPG? Okay, so that makes sense. You know, people love that type of genre. Oh, it's also free. That's why. <laughs> it's not even the genre. It's a, it's a free-to-play game. Probably has microtransaction. But for a paid game, okay, like a retail type of release, you know, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, number two on Steam. We've never seen that before. I don't think I've ever seen an anime game this anticipated, this hype, and this desired. People want this. I would joke around and say that everyone and their mom or everyone and their grandma is going to be buying this game. It's it's, it's coming in the fruition. It's true. <laughs> like, dead ass. My grandma probably pre-ordered the game and I didn't even know she did. Like, that's crazy, right? Now, let's talk about this, okay? Because shout out to Neo Taku. This was, this was news that was going around yesterday like crazy. People were like losing their shit over it, including myself, because anime games never do this well, okay? The only anime game that I think got this close and i'm talking about like you know the like the shonen type of jump stuff okay if you want to consider like what is it like uh final fantasy or uh what is it um uh this is the metaphor that that's a new game that's coming out right which people were comparing that metaphor and sparking zero comparison thing or whatever which is ridiculous but um you know these these games that have like an anime look and an anime as style but i'm just talking about like the shonen jump series or just shonen in general like from it's adapted from a manga okay this is coming from a manga that got an anime now it's a video game right that's that's like a crazy you know conversion so whenever you see a game like, like that like an anime game that comes out and people are this excited for it that it's going to be number one it was number one at one point okay and this is this keeps fluctuating up and down up and down just because uh you know some of these other games are also getting uh you know people who are buying it or downloading it or playing it and then that's going to be accumulated for for you know that time so this is just going up and down again this game hasn't even launched yet it's not even out yet <laughs> i'm pretty sure i'm very confident that once this game releases we're gonna see it at number one and it'll probably stay there for a lot longer than maybe like an hour or a couple of hours or whatever which this was 11 hours ago that neo taku posted this okay and then um i think on ps5 that's currently going on right now too every single version of sparking zero okay the 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 basic pre-order version the ultimate and the deluxe edition okay all of those are beating cod it beating call of duty call of duty is the game that everybody buys every single year Okay, you know, excluding myself, I, I don't like COD. I don't care for first person shooters. I don't play for it. If you like it, great. You know, more power to you. Um, and, you know, I know there's, you know, people who say like, oh, COD's fallen off or whatever, but that hasn't really stopped people from continuing to buy the game. Okay, like I said, Call of Duty, there's a new damn game that releases like every single year. And for the most part, it's usually at the top. Okay, Call of Duty and GTA are the only two games that I feel like, you know, just, just like, basic casual people who just casually play i almost said dragon ball games <laughs> i'm so excited y'all um casually play just video games in general they usually gravitate towards you know games like call of duty or like gta like i know a lot of people like back when i was going to school everybody would talk about the new call of duty everybody would be talking about you know gta 4 <laughs> I say GTA 4 because that was like the only game that <laughs> was that the, the only time a new GTA game was out or was it GTA? No, GTA 5. My bad. GTA 4. Uh, I do recall people talking about GTA 4 a long, long time ago. But yeah, GTA 5 was like that game. Like everybody was talking about that. Okay. And like I said, you know, Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare 3 or whatever, when that was coming out, people, I remember talk, talking about it back in school. That's just crazy. Okay. That's just absolutely insane. Right. So let's go and move on to the next image here. It was also bestseller on PlayStation 5. Now, a lot of this has changed again. Like it keeps fluctuating. Other games are out beating it or outperforming it, depending on how many people are buying it because people are buying video games every second right now. Okay. Especially on Amazon. But 
whoever screenshotted this, it got to a point where Sparking Zero was at number one. And keep in mind, this is most of these number one. It's it, it's it's the ultimate edition. It's not just the regular game. People want the they're gonna they're willing to spend extra. I'm talking like an extra thirty forty dollars, okay, for this game just so that they can get all the extra shit, right? Like. They, they know what they're doing. People want this game bad. <laughs> like, I've never seen a Dragon Ball game or an anime game this highly anticipated, okay? So big thanks to Neotaku for actually posting this because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't following all this at the time whenever it got to number one. So we can say, you know, even if it was for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, an hour, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero was the number one game worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> like for a very small, you know, short period of time, right? Like that's crazy. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, top selling. This this makes me want to cry how, how happy I am, okay? How, look how far we've come with Dragon Ball, y'all. As Dragon Ball fans, we should be incredibly, incredibly proud of this game. And, you know, you know just the game's not even out yet, but, you know, applause to Spike Chunsoft. Jun Furutani as the producer and Bandai Namco for pumping money into this fucking game, dog. Like, this is insane, okay? So, right now, top currently global selling Steam games, okay? This is like the end all be all type of thing on Steam, okay? Because, like, Dota, okay, uh, that's number two. Dota 2, I said that's number two. Dota 2 is number one. Counter Strike 2 is number two, okay? That Throne and Liberty game again, whatever that is, okay? That's number three. Those three games are free to play, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, there's like what microtransactions and shit, right? Uh, EA Sports FC 25 2025. That's a $70 game. So that's the only like game that you pay for paid game that's out beating Sparking Zero. And I'm pretty sure that game is already out. And Sparking Zero is not even out yet. Sparking Zero is it's beating Black Myth Wukong contender for, for game of the year. Dog, I am gonna shit my pants right now. This is absolute insanity. I've never seen like if you let's scroll down, okay. Where what is the next anime-esque game? Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream at number 15. Like, I'm not seeing any other game that's an anime-related game. Okay. Metaphor, okay, the one that uh people were comparing. Here it is, right here. This is the game that people were saying, oh, this is the game that's gonna, you know beat sparking zero or like who's who's gonna be playing sparking zero whenever this game comes out because these games release on the same uh same day october 11th if i'm not mistaken but sparking zero is coming out a little bit earlier right uh and nothing against metaphor i know people love this game like or are very very excited for the it's at number 27 on steam now again it varies across all these other uh consoles whichever one you're getting it but like here I'm, this is live right now okay every version of sparking zero is beating cod <laughs> How are you going to beat COD Blop 6, bro? <laughs> are you kidding me? Like, I'm very, very proud of all these, like, anime-esque type of games. Like, Metaphor, for example, okay? Um, I, I don't consider Sonic an anime game, but, like, you know, Sonic fans and Dragon Ball fans, you know, we, we, we tight. All right, we tight as fuck, right? <laughs> we homies, right? So, seeing a Sonic game this high up on the pre-order is very very nice to see as well okay like the sword art online fractured daydream like that's a top one as well okay like that's crazy bro that's crazy like fps games people eat that shit up okay anime games i never see anime games or even really fighting games other than you know obviously like street fighter or like tech it why do i even say that okay well arena fighter anime games like this is a this is a very weird genre that not a lot of people it doesn't really break through into you know the norm and into the mainstream that's what i'm trying to get at right and this game is literally doing that dragon ball sparking zero is like the first anime arena fighter game that is breaking records right now in terms of its genre and what it represents as a whole okay like toriyama if he, if he was he's smiling bro he's smiling right now and it, like he should be so so incredibly proud of this you know this this series that he's created that is getting this much hype and you know good positive feedback okay so again on uh what is it on gamestop here okay uh, most of these games have already released the only game that's out beating sparking zero right now is um this super mario party jamboree whatever this is uh that's going to be releasing a little bit after sparking zero drops 
but that game is the only game that's out beating it, which to be expected, it's Mario, it's Nintendo, and it's Mario Party, okay? Usually the party games are like these like more like fun, casual type of uh, Mario games or whatever. They're gonna sell up the ass, okay? Uh, oh man, I'm so happy about this. I know this is off, to off topic. I just got Echoes of Wisdom yesterday. Oh, it's amazing, y'all. If you guys like Zelda, get this game, okay? Nintendo ain't paying me to say shit. Fuck Nintendo, okay? I don't give a shit, but I will say, I'll give credit where it's due. This game is awesome so far. It's cute, it's adorable, it's very fun. And uh, it, it's it's awesome so far. I've only played like maybe a couple hours of it, and it's just oh, I'm in love with it, dog. <laughs> so yeah, that game's awesome. You know, fuck all these other games. I don't know what EA Sports and call. Why is there another Call of Duty? I don't even know which one this was. Modern War Warfare Three. I could have sworn they've already done. Mar they've done Sheen. This is the seventh time this week that you've made Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. Okay. Uh, Space Marine, I'm joking by the way. If you like these games, more power to you. And, uh, and you know, these, these games definitely deserve where they're at because people really like them. But I'm just saying, Sparking Zero, fuck them all, right? <laughs> Sparking Zero are gonna kill all these games. But how is Sparking Zero beating out a Silent Hill game? I actually I have no idea if Silent Hill 2 is something that people are. That's the thing. Anytime a new game comes out and it's like a really popular title, I see people either shit on it or like love it, okay? Um, it's beating out the Astrobot. Okay, Astrobot was super crazy. People were going crazy over this game. They were saying, like, this was the next Mario Galaxy, you know, platformer or whatever. Um, Epic Mickey? Does it, does it, who the fuck plays Epic Mickey? Or whatever. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm trying to get at. You know, Sparking Zero being at number seven right now. Again, an anime arena fighter game. Like, I know Dragon Ball is very popular. This is absolutely deserved. But it's like, I've never seen any Dragon Ball game get this crazy, right? We go on Amazon here for bestseller of PlayStation 5 games. Again, it, it, it is different, okay? Silent Hill 2 is number one. Then you have Astrobot at number two. Then you have Metaphor at number three. So Metaphor is actually beating out. Beating out? That sounds really bad. <laughs> that sounds weird. Uh, is, is outperforming <laughs> Sparking Zero. But Sparking Zero is right behind it at number four. And two editions of Sparking Zero are at the top. Like, that's crazy, dog. Like, people are not only buying... Like, if if we combine the sales of just every Dragon Ball Sparking Zero version, I'm pretty sure that shit would be number one, dog. Like, <laughs> let's be real, okay? If the normal standard edition and the ultimate edition is number four and number six in top ten, combine the sales of those together, it's shitting on all these other games, bro. I'm just messing around. But you realize... It would be the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Are you kidding me, dog? Are you kidding me? Sparking Zero is beating out Final Fantasy. What timeline are we in? What? What the fuck is happening? Oh my god! So the last thing I wanted to go over are these two, um, I guess, reviews. Now I don't, I don't know much about Games Radar or this other uh, account, Gaming Bible, but uh, is being posted directly from the Bandai Namco UK page on Twitter. So this is the official page or whatever. So uh, they say right here. One for the books. Read up on how Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is shaping up in Games Radar preview of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. This is a quote. Okay, I'm not going to go over the whole review or whatever. I'm pretty sure they say great things about it because both of these reviews or whatever have like a very, very like positive quote. Poised to be a Dragon Ball game for the ages. You know exactly what they mean and what they're talking about right there, y'all. Okay, because it's true. This game is going to be generational. This game will feed fans for decades millenniums right millennias millenniums whatever this one right here not long to go now read what the gaming bible had to say in their preview of dragon ball sparking zero the best dragon ball game i've ever played that that's all you need to hear that's all you need to hear okay dragon ball fighters was definitely contender for being like the best number one dragon ball game that i think people you know a lot of people played even even more casual people which is kind of surprising because it was geared towards more competitive players and it had a harder learning curve you know it was, it was a little bit more difficult you know you couldn't just pick up the game and be just good at it right uh not saying that you can do that with sparking zero but sparking zero is a lot more friendly in terms of it being more casual you can really enjoy this game without having to be like super competitive or know all the tech or whatever that's why so many people are jumping on shit for the for this type of game because it is the definitive dragon ball experience you know dragon ball fighters it's a gorgeous game it's an awesome 2d fighter but it was really really meant for competitive players and that's why you never saw fighters really 
break into that scene as much as Sparking Zero has, okay? And with Xenoverse 2, I, I always, you know, praise that game and say that game is an amazing, you know, really, really fun game. And I would say that that was our Sparking Zero, you know, our Budokai Tenkaichi when it was, you know, first released for a very long time. You know, for the past eight years, that has been our arena fighter, right? But not even Xenoverse 2 really got to that level, okay? I would say Xenoverse and Fighters were the only two games that got close, but never broke through like this game has. And Sparking Zero, this shit ain't even out yet, and it's breaking all sorts of records, okay? When this game drops and you give it a few weeks, a month, gets into the holiday season, this game is just going to be cracked in terms of sales, okay? This will be the best-selling Dragon Ball game and anime game of all time, okay? Mark my words. Mark my words. I'm confident in saying it. It's going to beat out. I keep saying beat out. That sounds so bad. It's going to outperform even uh, Naruto Storm Connections, which I think is the number one best-selling uh, anime Shonen Jump type of game, which again, uh, did I say, hopefully I didn't say, I feel like I said Naruto Storm Connections. Did I say that? Naruto Storm 4. My bad. If I said Storm Connections, because that Storm Connection didn't, didn't do shit, bro. Like, de like I think, uh, <laughs> like one of the the Demon Slayer, uh, what is it, Mario Party game, sold outsold <laughs> Storm Connections. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Storm fans. I'm so sorry, but uh, definitely, yeah, Storm. Um, what's it called? Uh, Storm Four, still like number one. That shit got like 12, 11, 12, 13, 14 million copies sold. I think Fighters and Xenoverse 2 are still around 10 to 11 million. It could be different. It's been a couple, you know, it's been like a year since we got an update on that. But uh, even Kakarot didn't get up to that level. Kakarot's very successful, okay? But not even that game got up to that level, right? Yeah, Sparking Zero is going it, to, it, it's, 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 it's over, all right? It's a body bag. Sparking Zero wins the world. And guys, go buy this game. I want to see this game go crazy, okay? <laughs> if you haven't purchased the game, if you, you don't even own a console for this game just still buy it just to look at it right all right in all seriousness thanks for watching drop a like subscribe here on the channel ring my notification bell. i'll see you guys next time peace <laughs> this is broly and you are watching slow plays make sure to subscribe or else i'll destroy your entire planet <laughs>